Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of my indie game devlog for my platformer game Broseria. Today I will show you two new game features. First thing is a campfire cooking system, second is a chest slash container system. For testing purposes I made a little testing area and put in the needed items. So let's start with the campfire system. At first let us pick up the needed items. Alright, I added a new crafting recipe for a kind of stone circles to start a campfire. Works like this. Now I can put the campfire into a usable slot. I'm able to place it. I can only place it next to me. Everywhere else um, placing is blocked. A new item I added are matches. I can put those also into a usable slot. Maybe you are able to buy these at your base camp or maybe find them on your quests. If I drag matches into the campfire while standing next to it, I can unlight it. Now the fire is burning but over time fuel is being used and it will lower its flames. You can feed the fire by putting wood onto it. Now of course you can also use the fire to cook food from hunting animals, which will be implemented soon. You will get raw meat, which can't be eaten directly just as wood, you can drag meat onto the fire and the cooking will start. A timer will pop up and you have to keep the fire burning to enable the cooking process. When the timer is full, the piece of cooked meat will pop up and can be taken and eaten. Alright, so here we have cooked meat. We can put it into a use slot and use right click to eat it. And again a little bit of hunger. Okay, okay you just saw that the fire went off because uh, I didn't feed it with wood. I can just re light it with my matches, put some more meat. Alright, this was the first part of the video, the fire cooking system. The next thing I worked on is the container slash chest system. Let's go over here. The system is supposed to be used for loot chests you find on your expeditions, but it can also be used as a storage container at your base camp. The mechanism is pretty self-explaining, but it wasn't too easy to program because you had to link the mechanisms with the inventory. Also you need to make the chest persistent, so changes to the content are saved in each chest entity. I can grab the loot and put it into my inventory. For example, a golden scepter. I will be able to sell it at my base camp. I can also use um, the container system to store items. Now I can go away, come back later, and um, the content is saved in the chest object and can always be accessed again. So, how do you define the content of the chest? I will show you that in my room editor and game maker, so let's quit here. Um, for those who know a little bit about game maker, you know each object has a creation code that I can edit in the room editor. By right clicking and doing creation code. So. The items of a chest 
were in a 3x3 three three grid with um, 9 slots in total. So I'm using a two-dimensional array to store the item and the amount of each slot. Each item I add to the game has a unique identification number, short ID. For example, see here, in row 2 of the grid, at position 2, I have item number 12, which is the scepter. I can easily manipulate this number and put, for example, 10, which is the emerald. Down here we have the amounts. For example, I can put in a 5. So, in that slot, the loot now should be 5 emeralds. So, let's test it out if it worked. Okay, let's go to the test area. Alright, it worked. We have 5 emeralds in the second row of the grid in position 2. Nice find. Alright, this was episode 3 of the indie game log. If you found it interesting, like, subscribe or share. Of course I will respond to every comment and if you have any questions or ideas, feel free to ask. See you next time.